What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Eddie Betts tells his powerful story for Sir Doug Nichols and Digits Round. So I think I do think that shout out to the guy who did recommend this video as well. But I did hear um this upcoming round in, in the AFL is Indigenous Week. So shout out to them and for that, you know, giving their dues and uh oh sorry about that. Get me the phone. You know, shout out to them giving their dues and respect to, you know, the players who came before them. Especially the the, the indigenous pe players as well. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't, don't forget to hit the like and sub button. I appreciate it. Hi, Griff, like always. Now let's get started. I think we have read. To, I think we have read to to to, to Eddie Betts. I think we have. I could be wrong. Though. I don't think so. This game, it makes me smile. Always has. It began at Nana and Pop's house in Kalgoorlie. Now I have my own pocket at Adelaide Oval, which is a bit silly when you think about it. Guernseys. I used to roll up my socks and kick checkside boomerangs around the house. No jokes at 12 Boomerang Crescent in Kalgoorlie. Now I get to kick them all around the country. That's Nicholas hard. This round means so much to me and my community. We get to represent all our brothers, sisters, uncles, and aunties. Respect, respect, much respect. Guy, Lee. Just like Adam Goods did. He was my idol. Or Leon Davis and Aaron Davey, who really I based my game on because I knew I couldn't play like Adam did. What a juke move. Oh, jeez. Now, I get what to smile at Flying Ryan taking massive hangers. Charlie Cameron firing up his Harley Davidson, or my new favorite, the new king of Goldie, Isaac Rankin. Well, this kid can do anything, and I'm gonna love watching him play week in, week out. And that's the point. Every week, indigenous players star in this game of ours. My hope is the message of this week remains long after the games are played. Every day, we need to walk together to educate our children, family, and friends. All right. We need to understand the impact of racism and discrimination in everything we do. Respect, respect. To embrace the stories and the culture of my people, my family. Because they're the reason I still play. They give me the strength and the courage to keep doing this. Win or lose, they always have smiles on their faces, which is why I'll have a big smile on mine. So this week, celebrate what we do, but remember to celebrate who we are. Facts. Facts. So I do wonder if they are. Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, some of these highlights are just going absolute crazy. Can we just hold up? Some of these highlights are going crazy. Look at that, Mark. My man, Mark the ball, and all in one motion, kicked. I said it, man. I said it. The AFL, man, is different, man. The AFL is different. So, like I said, so is this the week in which they are going to, I think they are going to be wearing like the special, you know, the special Guernseys, you know, whatever. So, and I'm looking forward to it, man. Mm. Shout out to Eddie Best Fast Story, man. Shout out to Eddie Best Fast Story. All of it I could connect with, especially, you know, knocking out the racism, discrimination, all that, man. We gotta, gotta move past that, man. Gotta move past that. Gotta move past that. Um, 
yeah just shout out your best man shout out your best and it does seem like a lot of like there's been a lot a lot of great you know indigenous players that have played in the afl so that's great to see man really great to see and also again shout out to afl for having a own round a week dedicated to you know the indigenous people and all that you know and, and plus as you saw you know eddie doing his you know doing his little own tradition I'm, I'm i think that was after the game or before the game or whatever but that that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh great to see really really great to see shout out to all you know the players as well in the league um we we, we are big bigger than racism Racism cannot defeat us, but, you know, this guy continues to educate the people who don't want to, you know, see that. But anyway, very, very, very great story. Hopefully you guys stay enjoy it. So, yeah, you guys let me get like a sub. Come down below, you guys thoughts and reactions. See you guys later.